Hi, my name is Sam Shuey from Maple Systems. Today's lesson will focus on a truly powerful feature of the HMC 7000 products called Tasks. I will show you what tasks are, how they can be used, and how they can be used in conjunction with function keys to implement a wide range of actions in the HMC 7000 series products. Let's begin our discussion by defining what a task is. In the Mapware 7000 programming software for the HMC 7000 series, a task is simply a predefined command. For example, the Go to Screen task is a command that, when executed, displays a new screen on the HMC unit. Another task that is commonly used is the Write Value to Tag task. When implemented, this task will write a constant value to a register address listed in the tag database. There are a wide variety of tasks to choose from that make it very easy to configure your HMC unit to do even the most complex tasks. Let's go through a few examples of how to create tasks in a Mapware 7000 project for the HMC 7057 unit. Let's begin by starting a new project in Mapware 7000 and select the HMC 7057 as our model. Let's assign a name to our new project. In the Project Information window, notice that under the current project listing is a folder titled Tasks. Use this folder to create any tasks that you wish to run in the background. Notice that two types of tasks are listed. Power on Tasks. These are tasks that are initiated whenever the HMC 7000 unit powers up. Notice that we already have a power on task assigned that displays screen number one of the HMC unit. This is automatically created whenever you start a new project. Global tasks are tasks that run continuously in the background. It does not matter what screen is currently on display or what the HMC is doing. These tasks are faithfully executed continuously as long as there is power to the HMC unit. I'm going to add a new task to the Power on Task section that will shut off the internal buzzer of the HMC unit. First, the Power on Task section must be selected. Then, under the Select Task pull-down box, I will hunt for the Turn Bid Off task and select it. Under the Tag section, I want to select the internal system bit that is used to control the HMC beeper. When I click on the Add button, the task is added to my list of Power on Tasks. Notice the buttons to the right of the list. I can use these buttons to delete any of the tasks listed above or move them up or down on the list. Tasks are always executed in the order given on the list. In this example, I want the task that I just created to be executed first, so I will place that at the top of the list. Next, let's place a task in the global tasks list that controls the LEDs on each of the function keys of the HMC 7057. Remember that I must first select the Global Task section. Now let's look for a task called Copy Tag to LED and select it. Now I will select a tag address that is to be used to control the function key LEDs. I want to use internal data address D0 to control my function key LEDs. But first, I need to add D0 to my tag database. So let's add D0 to the tag database now. While I'm in the tag database, I also will need to create a bit register B0. So let's create the B0 bit tag as well. Now let's go back to the tasks folder, select global tasks, the copy tag to LED task, and now we should be able to see the tag that we just created, D0, listed in the tag pull-down box. Click the Add button to add this task to the global task list. There are over 25 tasks available in the Mapware 7000 software. However, some tasks are not available depending upon how they are to be used. For example, notice that the Go To screen previous screen and next screen tasks listed under the power on tasks are not available if global tasks is selected. 
It wouldn't make sense to have these tasks available since global tasks, by definition, run continuously in the background. You can also configure tasks that will only execute when a particular screen is displayed. This is done by clicking on the Tasks folder that is listed as a subfolder under the selected screen. In this example, let's select the task folder under screen number one. Notice that there are three classifications for screen tasks. Before showing screen are tasks that will execute any tasks in this list box just before the screen is shown on the HMC display. While showing screen tasks are similar to the global tasks except that these tasks are executed continuously in the background only when the chosen screen is displayed. After hiding screen tasks are carried out only after the screen selected is removed from the HMC display. These tasks are executed before the next screen of the HMC is shown. Let's add some tasks to each section to illustrate how each is used. I'm going to add a task to the Before Showing Screen Tasks section that writes a constant value to register D0. Remember that I am using D0 to turn on and off the function key LEDs. If I write the binary value shown, 10101, then this will turn on function key LEDs number 1, number 3, and number 5. Next, I will add two task commands to the while showing screen tasks. You should note that you can add multiple tasks in each section so that one action, such as closing a screen, can cause multiple actions to occur. First, I want to enter a task called delay and set it for three seconds. The delay command is often used to prevent continuous execution of a task in this section. Instead, you can introduce a delay that forces a time pause between execution of tasks. Next, I place a toggle bit command that will toggle B0 every three seconds due to the delay used above. Finally, as the screen closes, I want to alternate the status of each function key LED so that LEDs number one, number three, and number five turn off and function key LEDs number two, number four, and number six turn on. So, I click on the After Hiding Screen tasks and add another Write Value to Tag command. In this example, I want to write the value 01010 to the tag address. You can also assign tasks to function keys and to two advanced object buttons. But before I illustrate these, I will create a few objects and place them onto screen number one and screen number two, which should help show how the tasks we just created work. So, I'll pause this video for a minute and start up again once I've completed these screens. See you back here in one second. As you can see, I've created screen number one so that we can see how D0 changes value as we change screens. Remember that D0 will have a binary value of 0x10101, which is equivalent to decimal value 21 when screen number one opens, and a binary value of 0x01010 which equates to decimal value 42 when screen number one closes. We will also monitor B0 to see if it changes state every three seconds as we configured it to do using the while showing screen task section for screen number one. Finally, I duplicated screen number one onto screen number two so that we can see how the tasks behave on a new screen. Remember that B0 is only set to toggle on screen number one. Therefore, we should not see this bit change state at all on screen number two. But before we illustrate these tasks on an HMC 7057, let's look at how you can assign tasks to function keys. The membrane style function keys, which are numbered F1 through F6 on the HMC 7057, can be programmed to perform tasks. You will notice that there are three actions for each key that can be used to execute task. Press tasks will execute the assigned task whenever the key is pressed. Tasks assigned to this section are only executed once per press, even if the operator continues to hold down the key. Pressed tasks, and that's pressed with an ED, are very similar to the while showing screen section in that this section will continuously execute any tasks assigned 
while the key is pressed and held down by the operator. A release task executes the assigned task when the key is released. As with the press tasks, any tasks assigned to this section are only executed once per release. To assign a task to a function key, you must follow these steps. Click on the key you wish to use. Notice that there is an option to use two keys simultaneously. This option allows you to configure a task that is performed only when the two function keys are used or pressed at the same time. For this example, let's just use the F2 key. Click on which section you wish to place the task in. In this example, we want the task to occur when the F2 key is pressed. Select which task you wish to use and add it to the section. We want screen number 2 to display whenever the F2 key is pressed. The example we just did shows how you can configure a global function key. In other words, the program function key performs the assigned task regardless of which screen is currently on display. You can also configure screen dependent function keys. A screen dependent function key activates the assigned task only if a particular screen is on display. Screen dependent function keys always take precedence over global function keys. This means that if you configure the same key, say the F3 key, to perform a global task and also to perform a screen task, whenever the particular screen is displayed, F3 will only perform the screen task. On all other screens, it will perform the global task. To demonstrate this point, let's create a screen dependent function key for screen number two. I want to use the F2 key, the same key that we used in the global keys folder. Notice that when I select the F2 key, it already shows a task assigned under press task, but it is grayed out. This is done to indicate that this key has been configured in the global keys folder. We will override this task by creating a screen dependent task. We want screen number one to display when the F2 key is pressed on this screen, screen number two. So that's a task that we will use. Besides using tasks for the function keys, tasks can be assigned to two buttons that can be placed onto the screen. Both of these buttons are accessed from the advanced objects menu, the multitask single state button and the multitask multi-state button. The multitask single state button is very similar to a set bit or a reset bit or a toggle bit button in that the state or label shown on the button either does not change or depends upon a single bit. To configure the button label to change based upon a bit address, you must first activate the feedback tag, then select the bit address. If the value red is 1, then the on state label is displayed. If the value is zero, then the off state label displays. This button differs from simple buttons like the toggle bit button because you can configure it to perform multiple tasks. To do this, simply click on the task attribute and then click the directory button. This displays the touchscreen task list where you can configure tasks much in the same way as we did for the function keys. The multitask multi-state button is very similar to a word lamp object in that it allows you to create a button that can display up to 32 different labels based upon the current state or value read from a data register. However, as with the multi-state single task button, this button can be configured to perform tasks with each state. Since you can assign any task to these two buttons, they can perform very complex operations. For more examples of how the multitask buttons are used, please watch our video on quick buttons and multitask buttons. Now let's see how these various tasks and function keys operate on the HMC 7057. I'm going to download this project to the HMC. Be back in one second. So on display is screen number one of our project that we just created. The HMC 7057 is displaying screen number one because we had a go to screen task in the power on section of the task folder. Remember, that we also created a task in the global task section called copy tag to LED that uses the value in the D0 register to control the LEDs of the function keys. In the local task folder for screen number one, 
I wrote the value 21 to D0 whenever screen number 1 first appears on the display. This causes the LEDs for F1, F3, and F5 function keys to light. In the local task folder for screen number 1, we also toggle bit B0 every 3 seconds using the while showing screen task. As you can see, this seems to be working fine as well. Recall that the F2 key was configured as a global key to display screen number 2 whenever it is pressed. Because we have not configured the F2 key as a screen dependent key for screen number 1, screen number 2 does indeed appear. Recall that in screen number 1 we had set up a task to change the value in D0 as screen number 1 leaves the display. On screen number 2, we do see that D0 has changed to a new value of 42, causing the LEDs for function keys number 1, number 3, and number 5 to turn off, and the LEDs for function keys number 2, number 4, and number 6 to turn on. Also notice that B0 no longer toggles. That particular task only executes while screen number 1 is on display. What happens if we press the F2 key? Since we configured the F2 key locally on screen number 2 to display screen number 1, this will take precedence over the global key setting. So, screen number 1 is displayed. This completes our video on how to use the tasks and function keys that are available for the HMC 7000 series. Please consult the MapWare 7000 help files and the HMC 7000 series operations manual for more details on these and other features of the HMC 7000. Or visit our website at www.maplesystems.com for more video tutorials, specifications, and other helpful materials on the HMC 7000 series.